Hello. Hello. I didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> it just connected me. <laughs> no, I figured you just you could call me anytime. So I was just calling you until they actually forced me to hang up, but I don't really want to, you know, make them mad. <laughs> I haven't even done anything wrong, and they treat me pretty bad. So <laughs> I wonder how. Are they going to put these calls on on your bill? I wonder who's paying for these calls. I don't know. I thought maybe you put money yeah. on there, but maybe they. Yeah, they just do all kinds of crazy crap. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I, don't know. Do. I thought maybe it was you that put money, but so I don't know yet. But I guess I'll have to pay that too. <laughs> they charge you for even getting arrested. They charge you twenty bucks, and they make you sign it. I should have refused, but I was just so in shock. You know, you just go along with it. So oh, wait, what they charge you? Twenty four. 20, just for getting arrested, so I got $20, I got, I owe a little bit of money in a couple of counties just for getting arrested, <laughs> just for this. Oh, that's... They make money, this okay. is all about money. They make a oh, lot of money. Oh, I know. Everybody knows that now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to, I want to find out if they're going to let you, right away, when they're, if they're going to let you out Remember, on Remember, how am I going to? Bail me out under my name that I'm going under, which is Jennifer Marie Seibert, and then eventually everything's all going to come together, but, you know, it's my real name, Kim Kessler, but just, you know, go about it, you know, jump through the hoops, like, you know. Okay. Okay, wait, you said bail you out under Jennifer. Yeah, because that's not what they arrested me under. They don't, until the FBI corrects it, it's going to be Jennifer, so... The FBI is oh my god, they're not gonna they don't correct. They will. Just, you can't you just put the money up for Jennifer Marie Seibert. I gave you my social, I gave you my date of birth, I gave you the name, my name, which is, you know, my alias or whatever, so that I've been living under for nineteen years. Um, you're all set. Oh my god. Are you well are you warm? Are you sleeping all right? Did they give you a blanket? No, of course not. It's terrible. I'm in jail. This is very, very bad. If you don't I know. It would be me, nice if they would treat you the way not. they would want to be treated. Because they well, never think. Well, if you really want to help, come and get me out. So that would be great. Or at least come down and try mm -hmm. to get the property so you can at least get something so it doesn't get turned over. I mean, a storage unit, they'll just do a, a storage unit sale. They'll just confiscate it, and then the storage unit will sell it and make money. I'm sure they did. I, I'm absolutely positively sure that they they took yeah. all your stuff. And it's I don't know long if they gone. took it all or not, but... Yeah, they might have left a pair. There was a sock there, I'm sure. I'm sure they didn't clean it. I don't know what they did, but we'll find out. Okay. So. Did they, did they tell you what the charges are on you? No. I have no paperwork, nothing. Yeah. See, that's kind of, can you, did you ask for a lawyer? Um, yeah, I did. But we already talked about this. Remember, she talked to me briefly. She said it was probably a conflict of interest, and she's the one who told me that innocent people go to prison. <laughs> and that I, I should be worried. So... <laughs> That's real nice. That's like going to the doctor and he says, wow, you're sick. You should be worried. Bye-bye. Wow. That's, somebody paid her for that? You know? uh, whatever. I don't know. Well, you got to have a lawyer. Right. I don't even care about a lawyer right now. If you can get me bonded out, I just wanted to make sure that what few belongings I have don't wind up in people's hands that aren't worth a hoot. At least let it be in family's hands. You know what I mean? At least let family members benefit from what few belongings I have rather than perfect strangers who just love to take advantage of, you know, the poor and the oppressed. So we'll try to call, the GPS. call them and see if they can bail me out so then at least I'll be out. So you might want to call the bail bondsman or, you know, whatever. But yeah, if, uh, 
trying to bail me out or whatever. And um, you're sure they they went to your storage unit? Yeah, they told me they did. Yeah. They got a whatever it's called a search warrant. Search warrant doesn't they, mean. I don't know what they did. I know. I don't know. We'll find out. So try to bail me out. I'll try to, you know, hopefully they won't put me out there naked. And uh, <laughs> they took my clothes. Crazy people. But um, okay. hopefully I'll get my clothes back. Keep asking for, asking for a lawyer. I. Because $100,000 isn't vagrancy. Like it, yeah, it's but it's only ten percent, so it's ten thousand dollars. And yes, it I is know, a lot of that's money. Still, but yeah, that's, that's like big that's time. That's what it's set at. They're not going to change it. I went. I did go before a judge, and he said that's what it is. And then the attorney said, you know, it's probably a conflict of interest. We'll see if we can get you another attorney, which is going to be a public defender. So, and I haven't heard anything since. I mean, this is the first time they even let me use the phone, and it's been going on for days since last mm -hmm. week. So uh, I'm getting a quite you know, getting a few looks from the little desk over there because I've been in here a while, talking on the phone. Um, yeah, see what you can do. First things first I would say the only, you know, recourse they gave me and then I heard that you get the money back whenever you show up for the court date and I'm gonna come back because I have nowhere else to go. This is it. This call will be terminated in two minutes. Um all right. So, oh boy. Okay. You got it. They, yeah. He, he told me that you he he thought you were involved. They think you're involved in the and a missing person there. So, if you can or if you want to, please, you know, bail me out, and I can. I'm, I will. I'm just wondering. To my just ability, wondering. I'll answer. They. I just got interrupted on the phone with a little message that they're going to disconnect the call again. So okay, we'll just uh, so let's just say he, goodbye. He's and, asking for a lawyer. Okay. I want them to say you never asked. Okay. I mean, I okay. did. I've already asked, but yeah, I'll just keep asking. All right. Yes, he's asking. Okay. All right. Bye bye. All right. Hang in there. Love you. Love you too. This call will be terminated in one minute. Oh, we have Love one you. minute. I got one. I love you. Love you too. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Hello. Hello. Um, I had a question. You could call I again. I had a question for you. I just, okay. I finally, I finally got an attorney. He seems nice. And um, he it? said, he said that he had someone call you to see about getting my stuff, and that you didn't sound interested. <laughs> Is this oh. true? I, I just talked to someone and get because he said he would call me back and tell me what stuff you had, where I could pick it up, and then he just called me this morning and said all you had, they told him all you had was the clothes on your back and not the bother. What? And I okay. said, well, she got a car and stuff in it. And I have a motorcycle took, that's paid for. I have a bicycle that I paid $500 for. So it's a, it's not the best bicycle, but I paid $500, and I have the receipt for the bicycle still. I bought it in 2011. Um, okay, so I guess we'll sort that out later. We'll all get sorted out. So, um, yeah, I do have stuff down here. Uh, I have, like, shoot, posted almost two grand in my in my purse, unless in cash, if they unless they took it. And about well, a thousand, you know, about a thousand dollars of it needs to go on my credit card because I owe city. You know what I mean? Like no matter what happens with this, I owe city money, city card money. So, <laughs> and if I don't pay them, it'll be worse. <laughs> I only have one credit card, but um, yeah, but so I mean that money is a little something to you know help to. That I mean, well, there's a there's a trailer hitch on my car. So you can put a hitch on the car and it'll haul, I mean, it's a tiny car, so it doesn't haul very well, but you can use it to haul the stuff wherever, you know. i got to find out how, like if your car, your car's impounded, you how would they it release that to me? 
I've been trying um, to call someone. Because I signed a piece of paper to release it to you. I have a piece of paper that they gave me to release my stuff, but I didn't have anybody to release it to, so I need to call my mom. So that's how I started talking to you. They let me call you. So, yeah, they'll release it to you. I guess they gave it to me so they can spy on our uh, on our conversation. So. so they don't let you put your money in the commentary? They, they, I hope they didn't confiscate my money. I mean, they took everything from me, so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's what they but do. Hopefully, this call was terminated stuff. because it exceeded the permitted length. But yeah, they gave me a, they gave me a piece of paper that said they, for the search warrant for my car, like five days after they searched my car and confiscated my car. <laughs> and then they never gave me a search warrant for searching my storage unit, ever. They just did it. They said they had a search warrant, but I have yet to receive it. Um, they produced the search warrant for my car after my attorney got on them, I guess, is what happened with that. So that attorney, like, he helped me a little bit already. The attorney, his name's Nixon, right? I can't remember his name. Hold on. Just a second. Let me... No, his name's Townsend. So if it's not regarding Mr. Tom Townsend, um, public defender, I wouldn't talk to anybody else. Well, he, well, this guy, Don Nixon, said he was with the Townsend. Oh, and he did say he okay. had somebody call on his behalf. So, yeah, that sounds right. His, okay. uh, whatever it's called, a paralegal or somebody who helps him. Yeah, the guy that talked to me was Don Nixon. Okay. That's kind of suspicious of who he actually was. You don't know who you're talking to on the phone. Right. Well, it, he, it, I didn't find out until just like maybe an hour ago that, you know, I asked him, I said, listen, here's my mom's number, like, here's her name, you know, help her to get my stuff, you know, just tell her, help her to, you know, my car, my storage unit, I have a motorcycle in there, but I told the attorney today, because he didn't, he was like, I don't know if your mom really cares to come and get it. She said she hasn't talked to you in 19 years, and, you know, she didn't sound like she was going to, like she cared. I said, well, I hate to mm -hmm. see my stuff just go to anybody. I said, do you want it? <laughs> oh, no. No, no. See, I, he I didn't say so that. Nice. I'm telling you. But here's the thing. He didn't accept it. But I'm like, I hate to see it to just go to anybody because, I mean, I don't have much, but the few things I have, like my motorcycle and my bicycle, they're nice. I mean, they're not really yeah. nice, but they're pretty nice. Like, anytime people see them, they're like, oh, that's nice. And they, like, you know, they give me a compliment on it. So I know that, you know what I mean? I just hate to see it go to anybody. But. I know. But, but now, he seems so nice, but now I don't trust him because of this, that comment. Because what comment? Because cause, cause he's the one that told me, he called me back and everything. And I, of course, was, like, going okay. through one of my crying jags and... She said, well, they told, the cops told him that all you had was the clothes on your back. And I knew that as soon as he had it out of his mouth that that was a bullshit. Well, I mean, was it Mr. Townsend that said that or the Nixon guy? The Nixon guy. Oh, uh, well, I, when, they, when they took me, they took everything from me, and I didn't even have the clothes on my back. <laughs> like, they even took the clothes off my back, literally. So, I mean, maybe, I, I mean, well, all I know is that... Um, the uh, uh, public defender, he's, Mr. Townsend, he, I mean, he's all I've got. He seems pretty nice. Um, if you want to, I don't know if I have his number or not. Do you have his number? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, yeah, go ahead and feel free to give him a call and, you know, see about how you would go about it. Um, I would, you know, plan. It's up to you entirely what you want to do, but I would be, I think it would behoove you. To, you know, grab the stuff. I mean, if they give you everything they took from me, I got almost two grand <laughs> in cash, and that's about it. A bicycle, a motorcycle, a bag full of expensive, wonderful vitamins, I might add. Wonderful vitamins. You'll be very happy with the vitamins. And um, eh, I think that's all that he might be interested in. That's it. <laughs> when can you, how often can you see your lawyer? Can you ask for him any time, or does he just tell you when he's coming? Um, he said I could ask for him any time, but they don't let me do what, like, I'm surprised they let me call you. But I told him they won't. He said he, 
my attorney told me he has no control over them. They mistreat me, that's just how it is, like, basically. He didn't say it exactly in those words, I'm kind of, you know, that's my interpretation of it. So I'm surprised they let me call you. Perhaps they were looking yeah. to be, you know, listen to a fascinating conversation between us. I don't know why they let me call you, but they did. So, um, but he said yeah. that uh, he, they should let me call him whenever I want, and they didn't because I asked to, to speak with him. And they they didn't let me do it. They just you know they make excuses. They're like oh we're busy, and then they just you know shut the door and walk away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they, I've heard they some stories. Me, they, of... It's kind of funny. They keep me in solitary confinement. Like it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's heaven, girl. I love it. Well then, ask the lawyer, or I'll call and ask if it. I guess you can't use your money then on your, they can't, whatever money you came in with, you can't have it on your commissary. They didn't even let me come it. in with it, they took it. So hopefully it's still there, but if somebody, I mean, they're dishonest, mm -hmm. there's dishonest people sometimes in the world, so I mean, hopefully they didn't, you know, steal it, you know? I'm guessing it's not there anymore, but... Minutes, thank you. Please remain on the line. Hold for acceptance. This is a prepaid call from Ken Kessler, an inmate at the Nassau County Jail. Three-way or call waiting is not allowed and may automatically disconnect this call. This call is also subject to being recorded or monitored except for privileged communications between attorney and client. Please select from the following options. If you consent to this call being recorded, and to accept this call, dial 1 now. To reject, your call has been accepted. Hello. Hello. I want to say something real quick. I know. Okay. I'm going to let you talk in just a second. Hold on. Um, okay. You've got to get that stuff before Wednesday because on before Wednesday, Wednesday, they confiscate Which Wednesday? it. They confiscate it next week. Okay, next, next week. week. Goodness. Yeah, they confiscate it and it becomes there. They say they destroy it, but they don't. They pass it out amongst themselves. So I'm sure they don't destroy. They just probably. And I have a piece of paper that tells me they do. You have 14 days to go and get it, or it gets destroyed. I showed it to my attorney, and that's what. Whenever he said he'd call you. So that was yeah, I'm kind of upset. Was. I'm worried about, I mean, I don't like what he said. I don't trust him oh, anymore. I, they're, they're making me hang up. i got to go. No. They're well, call me, me back. Up. I can't. All right, love you. I'll try. Love bye. You. Bye. Love you, bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, they, well, that's a bummer. You had to pay, we're going to pay for that last call, even though it was the wrong minute. Yeah, whatever. They they said no, I didn't have to hang up. They were just showing me. The attorney did what he said. I told him, I'm like, listen, this Bible, the print's really tiny, and and I, I'm having trouble seeing. I think it's because I'm fat. And um, I said, I need either reading glasses or a large print Bible, and they he got me reading glasses and a large print Bible. They did? Oh, that's nice. It is nice. Like, And he did it within, like, two hours. Oh, which, uh, who, uh, Mr. Nixon, I mean, <laughs> the Nixon person. No, Mr. Thompson. Let me look at his name again. Townsend? Uh, Townsend, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. We're in Texas for those the only two states with death penalty? I don't know. I haven't done the research on it. You might want to YouTube that. Get back to me on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd want to know and then tell you bad news. But I, <laughs> I thought someone said they weren't doing that anymore. And they shouldn't do it anymore because the dumbasses get everything wrong. The prosecutors are just a giant weenie. And I'm not even going to say, well, maybe there's some that are good. No, because they're all weenies. You put on a suit and you turn into a weenie. It's just, it's just a game of who's, you know, one up. You don't care if guilty or not. So, but, um, yeah.
Yeah, he said he was going to come, mm. like, next week, but that was a couple weeks ago. I don't know if I'm going to see him this week or not, but... Oh, wow. Well, why does he... Yeah, he just bothers stopping by so he can... It's, you know, because it's... So he can get a paycheck. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe he took my motorcycle off for a spin and he hit the throttle too hard and, and he killed himself. Who knows? Maybe he's in a coma right Hi. So you knew this was going to happen, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I just felt it coming. I didn't feel it. I don't know if it's because I'm cynical and I get, I wonder, you know, it seemed like it was too good to be true that you were actually in a, you know, better situation, eating better, because I kept thinking that. And yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't, I didn't expect it to come, but I would, I guess it was always in the back of my mind, because I knew that they were, you know, crazy like that. They, you know, because they did it to me before, and I was like, you know, so, I don't know, I guess I got to, I don't know too trusting or something, I don't know, like I just thought that their BS was over, but um, mm -hmm. Tom Thompson told me today that, like, I was the front page of the newspaper, I'm all over the news, he said today they had a bunch of people calling the public defender's office, a uh, news line or dateline called, and just like a bunch of entities or whatever, like news channels and like we're really calling or whatever today. And I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, you're all over the newspaper. You're all over the news. I'm like, really? I thought things, I mean, I thought it, I know you were saying it quieted down up there. I was just assuming it quieted down down here, but I guess I'm still like the talk of the town or something. Yeah, apparently, I forget who, um, oh, somebody told Bobby, that you were in the newspaper, and I, I, he didn't say, I just assumed it was maybe an old newspaper, he said the Sunday paper, and I wondered why the heck, why would that be starting up again? Is there absolutely nothing going on in the world? Um, I say it's because it's the Illuminati. I think that um, her people definitely are fucking seriously involved in it, so that's just what is happening. So I got the Illuminati on the ass. So that's what I'm thinking. Because just, I mean, again, I can't prove it. It's just my opinion and what little bit I've seen on YouTube about some of the research I was doing on these secret societies is, like, nobody gets even five minutes worth or five seconds worth of airtime unless they're, they have some sort of connection. So, uh, well, her stepdad, I don't know what's going on with him, if he's still in the hospital or what's up, but I mean, normally to attain a position like he was running the jail, like you gotta, you gotta be like, usually like a mason or whatever, I mean, you gotta be in a secret society to hold like... I'm sure he is, if he's running the a jail, I'm sure he is with that mason. I don't know mason if he still or... is though, because if he's in the hospital, he's not, but then he's got his brotherhood or whatever helping him. So, no, it was Nassau County that did it. It was already in the system. Nassau County did that. That guard simply, she saw what was already in the system and told me to pack up because Nassau County put it in the system to put me in the box before they even took me up to Nassau County. The How do you know that? Because, how do I know that? Because she... I heard about it from the fucking mental health dude. He said Nassau County put it in there to put you in here in isolation because I'm a high-profile case was the reason that they put in there this time. Last time they put in there, they said that I refuse to eat. They didn't, they didn't try to do that to me up there. They didn't strip me down up there like they did down here. I guess because everybody in the whole jail knew that they were fucking poisoning my food. <laughs> Everybody knew it, man. So, yeah, the, the mental health guy told me that Nassau County is the one who did it. Because I told him, I said, I don't know if it was the guard or if it was Nassau County. He goes, I'll go look. And he came back. He said it was Nassau County. He said the guard. Yeah, but you can. Yeah, whatever guard. you hear, they just disregard because everybody is just a liar. 
Well, he's the mental health dude, and he put it in there for me to be let out, just like the last mental health lady. She goes, I put it in there for you to be let out. I don't know why you're still here. That's what she told me last time. I said, because of Nassau County. (laughs) It's not about, they're just trying to make me look bad in front of the judge by keeping me in here and just fucking making it so I stay in here. Yeah, and that that alone is amazing, because why would someone, why would they need to have to work so hard, how, to make you look bad? If they have so much on you. Why do they have to work so hard? Because they don't have anything on me because it's all bullshit. Somebody's just trying yeah, to Yeah, that's what collect. I'm thinking. They're trying to yeah. collect on an insurance policy is what they're trying to do and they have to have like the, the insurance company's not going to fucking just pay them. They didn't, they fucking they didn't set, they tried to set me up but they didn't set me up that good obviously because the insurance company like they have to go to all this trouble to try to make me look bad. But I don't know mm-hmm. What happened, all I know is that I didn't do anything. I had nothing to do with it. I have no idea, like, what they're doing. I think they just look for excuses, too, to rob and steal because they just they just do all kinds of shit. They took the clothes I was wearing off my back and my shoes and stole them. My rings and my uh, my jewelry. My I only had two rings and one bracelet. Gone. Fucking gone. It was in my bag that they say they confiscated as, as evidence, but they they didn't list it, and so someone pocketed that. I mean, they just use excuses to steal. I don't even know if my motorcycle is even in my storage unit. I don't know if any of my shit that's worth any value is in there. I have no idea because they're thieves. They're absolutely thieves. And that's I know. What they I've, do. I've been, yeah, I called. I called the public defender's office, and I got. I somebody actually answered, and um. The girl that I talked with, when I told her your name and your your um, inmate number, she said she's never heard of you. Because some people haven't. I mean, there's there's people. I mean, the, yeah, not everybody watches the fucking boob tube. I mean. Oh no, I just meant she was. She should have known. She should have been able to find you just by your number, your right. inmate number, right? Yeah. Absolutely. She couldn't find you that name or that inmate number. That's what bothered me. I, I was like, well, what do you mean? <laughs> Where did she go? No, I'm still here. They just, uh, whatever. Who knows how they do shit in the computer. Well, so. Yeah, I was a little suspicious of why she, you know, like what's going on now that you're, she couldn't find you unless she's not good at her job. You know, maybe she's someone new. Or they're hiding me somehow in the system, which is possible as well. So that, you know what I mean? Like, right. for example, like, for a while, I mean, Sarah Baldwin and Stephanie Jaffe thought that I was in general population, but I wasn't. I was still in the box, and they had no idea because they might be hiding me in some sort of, you know, way in the system so that it doesn't show up exactly where I am. 